What's going on, my Cigar Head crew? What's going on, baby? This is Cigar Head Fred with Cigar Head TV, and we are back. We are back, baby. I told y'all I'll be back. We're back with another episode. I like that. We're back with another episode of Cigar Head TV. Uh, we have today, we have the Perdomo Lot 23, and Bellicoso. Wow. And Bellicoso. See if I can. It's, I mean, it's a beautiful cigar, man. Um, this cigar, uh, it is a. Uh, this is the medium strength. It's, this is a six by fifty-four. Uh, it's it, it is a Maduro, and uh, the wrapper origin is Nicaragua. This is my first time smoking um, the the uh, Bellicoso. I've had the regular uh, Robusto. I've had that before, so we're gonna see what the difference is. Let's see if there is a difference. We're gonna see how it turns out. Um, minimal veins on this cigar. Sorry guys, this is my dog right here. So you hear him hacking up stuff. I don't know what he got going. All right, um, minimal veins on this cigar. Mmm, that foot smell. It. it mm. I get a slight coffee and hay aroma. Mmm, sweet tobacco smell. It smells good, man. It really smells good. All right, guys, we go ahead and get this bad boy cut up. Uh. uh Forgot my cutter. All right, y'all hang on. All right, guys, we're back. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy cut up and let's get lit, baby. I'm doing my V cut. I know, I know, I know what you're gonna say. I already know. But it's all, it's all good. You do whatever cut you wanna do. I just wanna let you know that. Don't let nobody tell you how to cut your cigar. If you wanna cut your cigar in a V cut, you cut your cigar in a V cut. If you don't wanna cut, if you wanna use a guillotine cut, then you use a guillotine cut. If you wanna do a, 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 a X cut, then do an X cut. I call it an X cut. But I think it's like a it's like a crown head cut or something like that. It's, it's, it's if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. But yeah, you do whatever cut you want to. Whatever cut works for you, then you do that cut. So. All right, about to go ahead and get this bad boy cut on up. Cold draw. Cold draw on this. Um, like a, like a sweet, uh, like of course a sweet tobacco. With I, I get I get a little coffee bean in it. Just just a, just a little bit. This is a very this is a fairly firm packed cigar. So, um, not bad resistance on it. It's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy lit on up. We about to get lit. Mm -hmm. All right, we about to get lit.
Y'all hang on. All right, y'all. I'm. <laughs> we're back. I'm forgetting everything today. Forgot, forgot to get my towel, man. All right. <laughs> that foot smoke. Hey. That foot smoke is pretty strong. Got to be careful. Now. Mm. Now from light up on this cigar, man, look, it has such a sweet taste. Um, I get a get a roasted like it's a like a roasted nutty note. It's a like 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 a mm, a little grassy. A slight hint of chocolate. A slight hint of chocolate. Not much. It's not much on it. Mm-hmm. Very good taste. All right. It's looking good so far. All right. We're going to get into this first third. I'll come back. Y'all hang on. All right, guys, and we're back, and this is 10 minutes in to this Perdomo Lot 23 Bellicoso. Slow burner, slow burner. Um, not much of a transition, as of right now, it's pretty much kind of the same. Same, that same sweet tobacco. It's not bad. Um, it's okay. It's not really much right now. So, and it's, it's like I said, it's slow, like, oh, it's a slow burn on this cigar. Only thing that I do not like about it as of right now is the draw. I wish I had a, uh, I wish I had a perfect draw. I, sad to say, I don't. I don't, I don't own a perfect draw yet. I'll get one one of these days. But um, yeah, the draw on this is, uh, is, yeah. It wasn't bad at first, but um, yeah not loosening up so let me see yeah not getting much smoke output on this so yeah not getting much smoke output I'm not gonna the reason why I, I think also, you know, in my opinion, I think uh, because it is a little windy out here. So I'm going to blame, you know, I'm going to blame the wonky burn on the wind because that also can affect, you know, the way your cigar burns. If it's windy, it can affect it. So um, it's a little wonky burn. I'm not going to touch it up as of yet. It's not too bad, but, you know, it's not too bad. But if it like, you know, if it gets too bad, then I'll probably um, go ahead and and touch it up a bit but uh yeah guys that's all i have for right now i'll come back if i have some more y'all hang on all right cigar heads and we are about we are about i say 20 minutes in 20 minutes in on this cigar very slow burner um very slow burning cigar but only thing i don't like about it is the the draw on the cigar um can't really enjoy it because you're trying to get the smoke out of it but um yeah, guys, you can't really can't really enjoy the cigar like you want to because there's some blockage in there, and um, um, I don't have a perfect draw to get it out, but I can feel I can feel a stem. I can feel a stem right there, so I'm gonna try to work with it. Hopefully, it loosens up, you know. But as of right now, I'm not really enjoying my experience with this cigar because, you know, because I can't, you know, it's, it's a blockage in it. So I can't really enjoy the flavors of this cigar because I'm working, trying to get, like, you know, get a good, trying to get a good smoke, trying to get some good smoke output on it. So <clears throat> if I, you know, if it loosens up some, you know, if I'm able to get just a little bit of that, like a little bit more flavor, um, then I'll be back. But you guys hang on.
All right, guys, and we are back with this with this uh, Perdomo Lot 23. This is part two of the uh, Perdomo Lot 23 series. Um, I forgot to say that earlier, but um, I had to go grab some um, some uh, needle nose pliers, and it come to find out, I thought it was a stem that was clogging it, but it was actually just some extra extra tobacco leaf that was up there, and it was clogging the um, it was clogging the draw. So I, I pulled some of that out and it's a lot better now. And now I'm starting to get as we, and guess what? We're 30 minutes in, this is 30 minutes in to this cigar. Um, actually, I take that back. This is almost 40 minutes in on this cigar. Um, I had to redo my time. Um, slow burner, very slow, like it's a slow burning cigar. Um, now I'm able to to, um, to to get those flavors that I've been waiting for. So now what I'm getting, a, what I'm is a, it's a transition. What I'm getting now is I'm getting um, pepper. I'm getting a pepper bite. Um, still got that sweet tobacco. I'm getting grass, grassy. It's a grassy coffee bean that I'm getting. Um, still get a slight hint of that um, of, of the roasted nut. But it's um it's not really the roasted nut is kind of faded away a little bit. But uh, what's really what's really starting to take over now is the um, is the pepper and the um, and the grassy coffee bean, and it's actually it's actually a, a a very very decent taste. It's not bad at all. I tapped the ash earlier because I, I felt that it was gonna fall. So I just went ahead and, and tapped it. So it's okay. Um, as you can see the burn on this, it's pretty much caught up to itself. It's, you know, it's not, it's not great, it's not perfect, but it is, it's, it's decent enough. So, all right guys, if I have any more transitions into this second third, into the last third of this cigar, I'll come back. All right guys. Y'all hang on. All right, cigar heads, and the sun is going down, and we are at the final third of this cigar. This um, Perdomo Lot 23, Bellicoso, I most definitely give it a two thumbs up. I recommend this cigar for the beginner. Um, if you like that pepper zine, it's there. Um, the flavors did intensify, uh, it intensify. It intensified a little bit more. Um, the burn is still a slow burner. I have on this cigar now, I say I have at least about another good um, 10, 15 minutes with this cigar. So um, we have hit the hour mark on smoking this cigar. A little bit uh, close to a little bit over an hour. And um, this cigar is still smokes very well. Um, the cigar hasn't went out on me, nothing like that. This is a great cigar. I most definitely recommend this cigar. For anybody that wants to try this Bellicoso for Domo La 23, I highly recommend it. Um, all right, guys, this concludes the Perdomo La 23 um, series, two-part series. Um, if you guys want me to do any more, let me know down below. I, I really enjoy doing these cigar reviews, man. I really enjoy everybody for their support and everything. Um, I had a talk with Lee Mac, Uncle Lee Mac, yesterday morning, and we had a we had a very good conversation, man. Um, very good convo. And um, I'm looking forward to, to talking to him more. Um, I look forward to talking to Ron and um, all my other guys. Um, all my other cigar reviewers, um, I, I'm looking forward to having conversations with you guys and, you know, spreading, spreading positivity, spreading love to each other. Cause that's exactly what we need in this time. Um, but, um, overall guys, this cigar is great. I love it. I enjoyed it. At first I was, at first I was like, uh, oh, I may not enjoy it because of the, um, because of the, you know, the draw was a little stuck. It was a little clogged, but um, I had to grab my needle nose pliers and pull some of that, some of the um, the blockage out the cigar. Um, 
and it turned out to be a very, very, very pleasant cigar. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for, for all your support, all your love. I really appreciate it. Um, we are now over 300 subscribers on the channel, and I really appreciate you guys for that. Um, please continue to share. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to finish this cigar, and I'll be back with some more cigar reviews. All right, this Cigar Head Fred with Cigar Head TV, and I'm gone. Till the next time. Peace.